So, do you know the output parameter determination, OPD, and uh, S in S for HANA? For example, take an example. I've got an intercompany billing document and a process flow. I take account this billing document. For example, I would like to understand the output messages. So I go to the manage billing document. I enter my billing document and I click on go. I display my document. I go to the output item. The output item is managed into the application output parameter determinations. If you have activate the new management of the output message in S4 HANA. So you don't have to use VV11, VV21, VV41, etc. So the next step is to understanding how to manage, for example, the uh, message, print, IDOC, and in invoice. For that, I'm going to use the application output parameter determination. For example, for invoice, show rule for billing document. There is different step. Output type, receiver, channel, printer setting, email, email recipient, form template, output relevance. For example, output type. I've got two output type if I look at to my invoice. The billing document, like this. And dispatch tie immediately. Then, the receiver. Which kind of partner? If I have a loop to my partner, there's the uh, ruled here. E is for bill to party. Okay, then I continue. Channel. For example, I would like to add a new channel, for example, for email. For that, I click on Edit. I select, for example, a line because I want, just want to copy. It's more quick. I click on Copy Row. I click on Insert Copy Row. I select the new line and I click on Change. Then, Change Value, instead of Print, I select Email. I click on OK and I activate. So ask me um, in their company is good. I select an order to transport and I click on OK. I continue right now, printer settings. I define which printer is elective, for example, like two printer. I continue, email settings. I will show you uh, in uh, another video how to manage email settings, email recipient. I continue, firm template. I've got all the different template assigned for different type of invoice. For example, ah, yeah, I would like to add um, a new uh, template. I looking for, for example, I just have select a line and I click on edit. I click on change and I would like to add a new one or some place. I would like to uh, define, for example, okay, as previously, I select, I copy, I passed. I select, I change, I look all the value that I have in the system and I would like to add for intercompany invoice, I activate. The last step is output relevance. So again, I have a look, okay, my invoice perhaps is not defined for, uh, for example, message ARD04. I select the line, I click on edit, I copy, 
I passed and I defined where is it? Ah, it's this one, sorry. I change. And for example, I define for the new value set like this. I select my it's good, it's good, it's good. All the parameters is good. That means when my document, my building document is created and the accounting document is created, I print or I send an item. I activate. So I go back to my my invoice. The the statue of my invoice, the statue of my output control stay in in preparation because, for example. I do not define print relevance in output parameter determination. So I have a transport order. I transport. Give me just a few seconds to make a new try. Uh, why why there is an issue I activate I leave uh, output parameter determination and I made a new transport and what's happened um, Ah, yes, I would like also to show you the BAF3 scope D. No, it's not this one. BAF3. I'm waiting, sorry. There are different things to do. Take a long time. I don't know what happens. PFS uh, plus. Click on the edit. If I want to process the output message, I just have to click on send output. And if all the parameter is good, I just have to send. And the statue of my uh, in the statue of my output control change. So I just have a look to different. Uh, okay, 